All right, welcome guys. I have a show in about 20 minutes. It's actually right here. Uh, we're in downtown. So in the meantime, I thought we'd take a walk in the park. And today I'm gonna talk to you guys about some behind the scenes of becoming a real estate agent. Okay, all right, so you wanna become a real estate agent. First thing you're gonna to have to do is, you gotta get licensed, you have to take a test, okay? So the test, it's a 60 hour, they call it a pre-licensed course. Um, usually it only takes six to eight weeks. You can kind of do it at your own time, whatever you wanna do. That's usually, that's usually how long it is though, six to eight weeks. And the test is hard though, do not take that test lightly because it is a struggle, it's, a, it's very hard. I think the statistic is like, I wanna say 40% pass i think it's 40 60 i think that's what it is i could be wrong though don't quote me on that but i think that's what it is okay so now you have to find a brokerage okay so let's just say you're going with abc realty congratulations you're now a realtor with abc realty now the hard part comes okay communication for me is the number one thing that a realtor needs because that's our job we're communicating with the listing agent the buyer, or the buyer's agent depending on what side you are we're communicating with customers we're communicating with you know clients we're communicating with home inspectors mortgage lenders attorneys we've got to get the closing we're just there's so many you have to be able to communicate to everyone that in my opinion is the most important thing do your homework and get all that taken care of so you know exactly what to do when someone tells you something automatically relay the message do not put it do not put it off because you will forget you know if someone's like hey closing's been delayed or hey closing's next week instead of this week or hey um or hey the the purchaser can you know be able to purchase more he, he can get twenty five thousand more dollars something like that relay that message immediately because if not you will forget and stuff that's so important like that just stop what you're doing and go ahead and send it over we picked the coldest day i swear Okay, I, I gotta warm up. I'm gonna do some jumping jacks. Ah, ah, ah. We're in a new place. We're in a new place. Gotta get warmed up. Gotta educate these people. Gotta educate these people. Okay, we're ready now. Let's go. Let's finish the tour. The tour. You see, look at me talking real estate. Let's finish the tour. <laughs> every week, we do a learning moment. Well, I say every week. Most of the time, we do a learning moment, okay? So, once you pass your test, make sure you do your homework on different brokerages. Make sure that you interview with multiple ones because different ones have different things for you. Some may be good in education, you know, some may be good with the split that you want, some may be good in the marketing that you want. So there's different brokerages for different people. So make sure you do your homework on that. Okay, how am I gonna get down? Okay, so in the learning moment, I mentioned a split. So a split is the difference in commission that your broker keeps for, you know, um, office fees, marketing costs, um, you know, just anything that really kind of helps the business grow. So for example, on like a 70-30 split, if you were to get a $10,000 check, you would get 7,000 and your broker would get 3,000. Each split can be negotiated and they're all different. So once again, that's just to help the company grow. Yeah, that helps cover marketing costs, helps cover office fees, desk fees, um, really the liability that the broker takes on. Yeah, that's just some of the things that they'll cover. Wait. Oh my God, I'm late for my showing. Wait, wait, hey, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. 